Hey guys, welcome back. So we just got in our Logic of English Foundations Level A set. That is the um, language arts curriculum that I've picked for um, my upcoming kindergartner. He starts kindergarten this year. Um, it'll be our first official year homeschooling and we are going with Logic of English. Um, and so I went with the whole bundle. I went ahead and got the whole bundle that has um, the book, the workbook, the different cards they recommend. And we actually chose cursive. Um, so Logic of English, you can get two different options. You can either get manuscript or you can get cursive for the handwriting component of the program. And I um, was, and still am, think it's a little bit strange to start cursive in kindergarten because you know, I did it in like third grade and I've heard of some people doing it in second grade, but to start it from the get go, it just seems strange, but you know what? Like homeschoolers are weird. We are. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, actually after doing the research, decided to go ahead and try, um, try cursive and see how that goes. The manuscript option for Logic of English is different than how I um, have been teaching him to write anyway. And so I thought if we're gonna be doing something totally different anyway, let's just go ahead and tackle cursive. So um, I went ahead with the cursive and that is the bundle that I got. And uh, so let's open this box and check it out. Okay, so I have already actually taken this out of the box. So yes, I said it was an unboxing. Technically it's not because I took it out of the box, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's all stacked up in this bubble mailer. So um, here's what I've got and I'll just go from the top down. So here are the cursive tactile cards, which, um, let's see. These are like, it's like sandpaper kind of. So tactile, good sensory stuff for kids. And it has each of the cursive letters on them. And then on the back, it tells you like how to write that letter. So that's those. These are the phonogram game tiles. Let's see, that's the back of them. So I've seen um, some other people in the Logic of English Facebook group and, man, I should have brought scissors in here, there we go, um, online and stuff, that they actually take these and they put magnets on the back of them and turn these into magnets, but they're like little cardboard pings and you break them apart and then um, apparently use them to play games because they're called game tiles, so I'm sure we'll figure that out as we get into it. Here are the basic phonogram flashcards. And these just have all of your different phonograms, letter sounds. So, I mean, we are kindergarten, so we'll be starting at the first part of this. Um, and then it, it tells you what it sounds like, and it also gives you examples of each one of each of the different sounds, which I think is really nice because sometimes I'm like, how's that gonna work until I see it in a word? So that's those. Then there are these game cards. Um, again, this is very much a game-based, um, so I'll start with this one, curriculum. And so they send you, everyone, every, if you get the bundle, everybody gets the book face cards and then you get either cursive or manuscript depending on which one you pick. So that's what those look like. On the back it just says logic, logic of English. So, you know, you would hold them like cards like that. And the blue book face ones. Plastic's a little bit tougher. Oh, there it goes. So there's that. Um, let's see. Doodling Dragons. This is a picture book that has each of the letters and their sounds and examples of those sounds. And I believe that there's like a little song that goes along with this um, that you can either buy the like digital download or you can, I think they just have it on their YouTube channel too. So maybe a little song that goes with it. This is 
whiteboard for practicing their writing. That's catalog. Um, okay, so here's the, let's see, set that down for a second. Here is a phonogram and spelling rule quick reference, like a laminated fold out thing that has the rules and then rhythm of handwriting quick reference for cursive since that's the bundle we got. So again, that reminds you how to write each letter. So just little handy reference pages. Here's a quick reference for how to spell a word. And then teacher's manual and the workbook. So teacher's manual is hardback and it goes through I'm set down. <clears throat> the scope and sequence, and the, tells you about the lessons, Common Core standards, and it starts with the lessons and goes through um, each portion of the lesson. So, phonemic awareness, handwriting, and then that's it. You know, that's lesson one. They get more into spelling and reading later, so it just goes through. All of that and tells the teacher aka me what to say and do and then the workbook of course that is for the child and so they have just at the, like at the beginning we're just doing little picture stuff and practicing handwriting um, towards the end I believe they make little books like so this set did not come with little readers of its own. They actually make their own readers out of the back of the workbook. So that's cool. They create them and then they use them to read. So anyway, that is what comes in the foundations level A, the full set. If you get the whole bundle, that was the cursive. And then they have a manuscript option that has all the same stuff. It would just have manuscript instead of cursive for the different components. So there you go.